Hello to everyone, this is Joanna, and today I would like to do a review for you for the Toasted Praline and Pear. I have finally gotten into mine, so I know that my review most likely is very late to the party, but I have also been trying to go through some older things, as you know, that I've been mentioning and showing posts on my Instagram. So I would like to give you my take on these two fragrances here, the first one being the Toasted Praline and Pear that I have actually just gotten into using. Um, and this is a great fragrance. This is Poached Pear, Toasted Praline, Graham Cracker, and Tonka Bean. And it says home baked golden pies, nostalgia laced aromas, scent the air, cozy up and reconnect with the delicious fragrances of fall. And it does smell like that to me. Um, a lot of us were wondering if these two would smell similar. This one was the one that people had asked to come back, the golden pear and brown sugar they had asked a while ago. I do think that this came out at the same time that the... Um, gingerbread latte fragrance came out I do remember buying minis of these at the same time and of course I just finished up um, that body cream and I'm sorry that I didn't get more I'm glad that I didn't get more creams but I do have a lotion but for this fragrance this was a great scent as well but they do have a difference in their scents and I'll touch on that in a moment for this one, it says bright leaves and blue skies, crisp air and orchard fresh fruit. Savor the season with the perfect autumn day. The notes on this one are Bartlett pear, brown sugar, almond cream, vanilla praline, and toasted hazelnut. I think also um, one that had sky in the title came out with this one, a blue one. I didn't really get into that. A lot of people raved about that one, and I think people still want to see that one come back as well. But as far as these two, my take on these two, and I don't know how different it'll be from anyone else's, is they do not smell the same. This one right here is a more gourmand baked type scent to me if you will whereas this one is a more fresh pear with a few additives in it this one smells um i wouldn't say just like the fresh fruit but you get more of a fruity scent in this in my opinion with the brown sugar it's fresh i like it i would wear both of these to work i would also wear both of these for the cozy feeling this one however is a more caramelized baked type pear like it's glazed in the brown sugar or caramelized I would say this one I absolutely love I do love them both and like I said I would bear, wear them both to work but this one reminded me of my son when he was little and y'all know he's not little anymore I make reference to him because he was a bit closer to me than my daughter was and I wasn't really wearing scent when she was little um, I didn't even shop like everything that I bought was for her, but I will say this as of today, y'all know, if you have a little son, a little grandchild, a little nephew, just a kid in particular, when that little kid comes up to you because they think you smell like cookies and baked goods, that's really a cute little thing. And my son, when I would wear certain fragrances, would come and sit next to me. He'd tell me I smelled like cookies. And you know how little ones are. They will. They'll start out sitting next to you. They'll inch a little bit closer. Next thing you know, you're holding them and they're nuzzling their little face into your neck or shoulder. And it is just the most cutest, endearing thing. So this put me in the mind of how he was when I wore fragrance. Now, when my daughter came along, like I said, I wasn't doing a lot of shopping as far as fragrance for me. I did get into a few things later on when she got a little bit older and most of the fragrance that I bought at that time I was getting for her. So I think that she would like both of these to wear. I feel like she would probably like this one a little bit more. But I love the coziness of this. This fragrance to me really truly does. It smells like you've come into a warm home where the fragrance is sweet and inviting and just caramelized. I love it so much. And this is like to me that outdoor type scent in a good way. Just fresh. You're working around the fruit. You know, you're picking the fruit. Um, you have like a pear treat. I do like them both. But. I have just really gotten into using this one over the last few days and I had to do this video. So I hope it's not too off. Um, and I am going to start watching more of the reviews on this, but I just wanted to offer my take on this. 
And as far as this goes, I have been trying to stay out of the store and I'm waiting to get the um, pink petal tea cake wallflowers this Saturday. But as far as this fragrance goes, this is definitely second set status. I do know for a fact I will be picking up another lotion and another cream hands down and I will be using that cream <laughs> um, because I've been trying to steer away from creams because I don't go through them as fast so in the rotation that I got going now I'm not going to get it right away I am going to be taking a small chance if there happens to be a sale or something like that or I go in the store Saturday and I view um, how many of these that they have left because I'm pretty sure with the sales that Bath and Body Works has been having they will move a lot of this stuff out to put in the next fall and Christmas and holiday type thing. So I don't want to wait too long. But if I can, I am definitely going to get another cream, another lotion, and another spray, most likely. If I don't, you know, go through anything else. I do plan on wearing this to work just to see the reaction. Because I do feel like it's something I can wear to work. But at the same time... I'm going to be using this one to go ahead and use it up because this is a fragrance that's also going to be into the fall rotation. I got going now. I'm working on some older things. I incorporate some new things. Y'all know the Blackberry Vanilla that released. I haven't touched mine yet. And I just simply feel like I have so much product. I've been trying to slow down. But by no means am I staying out of the store. No way. I've just been... Trying to take the same approach that I've been trying to take with my nail polish purchasing, which I'm going to move to some indie polishes, um, I think, and just stay away from the mainstream a little bit. But I really, really love this scent, and it is going to get me back in the store. So if you've been on the fence about this or you haven't tried it because you have this one, go ahead and give this one a try. This one, a lot of people, I think, are saying it has a graham cracker scent, and it might. Um, to me, it's just rich. It's rich, it's gourmand, it's warm and it's inviting. You know, not saying that this isn't, but this is that kind of fragrance that when you've got on that cozy sweater or you've got little ones that like sitting on your lap because they think you smell like cookies and you smell like pies and baked goods, this is something that I would definitely probably wear too at holiday time. And I'm definitely going to be wearing this all November and all October. So that's why I definitely want another set because I plan on making a dent in this. So I hope that helps if you were on the fence. Um, and that was it that I just wanted to say. I'm very happy to have this one as well. So I'm going to be using both of these. But this is definitely second set status as far as getting another set. So until the next time, everyone have a great morning.